When this place opened, it was packed. Three meals a day, but lately, things have gotten a bit slow. A few two-star Yelp reviews, and a new bistro owned by a celebrity chef who driven most of our customers away. Management isn't talking, but there have been rumors that the mysterious owners are planning to shut the place down if the money doesn't start rolling back in. It's late on a Friday afternoon, and every table in the restaurant is booked for the entire weekend. The wild stories about VIPs and food critics can't possibly be true, but nervous excitement spreads through the kitchen staff to the front of the house, from busboys to bartenders. The cooks prep their stations with furious speed. The chef is everywhere at once to double-check the spices in every dish. The servers meticulously memorize the specials while polishing flatware until it sparkles. The bar staff stocks up on fruit and ice, dusting the liquor bottles and lining clean glasses on the bar like ammunition. Is this the restaurant's last chance to prove it can still turn tables and make money before they close the doors for good? Will this weekend be a culinary miracle or just another horrible fiasco? Yes, no, maybe so. I think this could be fun. It's good to know there is, there's some shit like that which does cross continents. Yeah. Well, yes, no, maybe so. Yo, yeah. Well, also, you got to keep in mind that I am Canadian, so a lot more things that are British are going to cross over with me. Like, we can both take credit for burning down the White House. Yeah, there we go. That's one. <laughs> hey, to make it even better, Zerka, uh, your relationships are going to be with me and Bard. That's going to help. I... I, so, okay, so, a quick thing with Fiasco, are you just taking up various roles? That's part of it, yes. Zerka, can you say what you were going to say? <gasps> Excuse me. Sure, speak up, Zerka. Say your mind, that's important. <laughs> what? Oh. Damn it. Guess just you and me, Bard. You and me against the world. Eh. Okay. You be head chef, I'll be uh, head of the dining room. Oh, Let's do this. Oh, guy left us. Okay. Be the scullery boy. Okay. I'm recording this, obviously, for various reasons. So it's going to be me, Seawall, and Bard. So that means I no longer have a relationship with Zerka. It's just Bard and me. And then it's Seawall and Bard and me and Seawall, because we're all players in this horrific, horrific, glorious train wreck that we're going to call life. That's yeah, what getting married is about, isn't it? Suddenly it becomes co-op. Life goes co-op, guys. Life went co-op. Anyways, if you look at the share screen, you'll see the uh, PDF. The share screen is gone for me. I don't know about you guys. I'll Same here. Stable it to make sure. Uh, okay, no problems. Uh, share window. Chaos in the kitchen. Now let's see. We have. We have three of us, so uh, that means we need six good dice and six bad dice. So we're working with. Ooh, that's nice. That's ooh, that's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Haven't played Fiasco before, so. Well, we're me and Bard will go before you, so that will help a lot. Okay. Yeah. So we'll. Basically, um, the way you figure out. Uh, things like relationships and your goal and everything is you roll a bunch of dice beforehand and then you uh, get to select those sorry and then using the numbers numbers that those dice represent you select your different relationships and personal goals and that kind of shit yep. okay. wow we only have one three and one one but three twos and three fours okay that's good Wait, wait, wait. How many the fives? average of two and three is three, and there's three of each of them. Half-Life 3 confirmed. <laughs> right. Okay. Bad jokes aside. I don't even want Half-Life 3, to be honest with you guys. It's just... I stopped yeah. caring. Okay, if they were able to release it within five years of Half-Life 2 Episode 2, it would have been relevant. But now it's just a, it's just a dead meme. Well, I don't doubt that if they brought it out, people would buy the absolute shit out of it still. Oh, yeah, I'd buy it. Well, I mean, yeah. I'd do it once it got cheaper. Well, the other yeah. thing is that it's... They want to see the end of Gordon Freeman's story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was a, there's a fan-made game that's about 50 minutes long that was recently released. I downloaded it myself. Will the guy ever get a break? 
Probably yeah. not. Okay, so here's the basics, Seawall. As you notice, there are six groups for relationships. Now, nor mm -hmm. now you can actually go to the other things first, but when it's the first time for people, I like to start with just doing the relationships part. Okay. Uh, because it makes it easier. So, for example, I'm going to use the... Um, you know what? <laughs> I really... Oh, my God. Yes, I can make Bard and Seawall enemies. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm going to use the one. I'm using the one three and I'm making Bard and Seawall enemies. Bard, Seawall, you both are enemies now. That is your relationship. So and we hate each other. Yes. The fucking chef can't do his job right. He has no idea how to cook. And well, they're, they're not, and, and they're we'll not called chips, they're roll. french fries. <laughs> And well, let's well, be fair the here. Let's they were fair. invented in Belgium. Well, let's be fair here. One, depending on you know, it on. is a fancy. Re it is a fancy restaurant, but beyond that, you know, anything could happen. Like one of us could actually get the thing of being the head chef. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, now Bard, it's your turn. So you can further define yours and Seawalls, or define me and you, or define Seawall and me. All right, Seawall and you are... I'm also just listing how what numbers we still have left to use. Because I used the one three, so there's no more threes. Which is kind you, of... and C... you and Seawall are crime. Crime? Me and Seawall are crime. As much sense as that makes right now. Okay. <laughs> so... Some, some of them you really... I think that's the only one that doesn't actually work if you don't specify it further. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you all have to specify them further. Okay. See. Well, it's now your turn. Of course. Um, if you look in the Google, um, if you look in the roll twenty, you'll see that there's um a nice little setup for, you know, each of us. Uh, our current. So currently, you could either define yours and Bard's, your and mine, or you could give the relationship between me and Bard. So you can decide on any one of those. But we can't be enemies because there are no threes left. Yep. Okay. We're not a enemies, but I can but can I can I better define enemies? Yes, you can better define yes. enemies. Just not with a three. Yep. Because okay. there's no more threes left. <laughs> Table thief and slow witted victim. <laughs> <laughs> that is a that's a great one. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna use a five. We're both fighting over the hot new hostess. Yeah, okay. Are you the hot new hostess? Oh, God. Am no, I going to be the hot no, new hostess? No, no, Hello, no. Hello, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, used to be God. friends. <laughs> and, and, and then, then the hot came thing. between us. Yeah. Wait, so that Literally, means I get to... Oh, my God. Of trouble. <laughs> oh, my God. That's beautiful. So that's our first five used, and our only five, so we're now out of fives. Yeah. yeah. So we're on one, two, four, and six. Yep. We have one, two, and four, and six left. Okay, so uh, we need something that's a functional relationship. <laughs> Crime is functional, potentially. No, it's not. So, okay. I'm going to make uh, me and Bard family. Yeah. Woo! Which uses our only one. Why does ex-lovers who don't get along come under family? Uh, and not enemies. Probably means we're kissing cousins. Uh. Okay, uh, so now it's Seawall. It's Bard's turn, actually. Bard, you get to define further me and Seawall or you and me? And we're at threes and fives, right? Yeah, we and ones. We only have twos, fours, and sixes left. All right, then I will further define your two. As gamblers who place bets on anything. Okay, that's... I was listening to a podcast where they got that one as well, and it it was really actually quite amazing. So I was stuck between that and graffiti-obsessed art students, because I wanted to see you paint on the walls with food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and really, you'd see me as an art student? Really? See, well, you could do it. You know, you're an art <laughs> student majoring in sciences. Yeah, true. Anyway, see, well, that means you get to define me and Bard's family relationship. 
Okay, so I have two, four, and six available. Yes. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go with six foster kids from the same horrible foster family. I'm okay with this. We have to have some sort of relationship that's positive here. So, so Bard, here's the question. Are we just friends? Are we just friends slash family? Or are we more than just, you know, we grew up together? Because we're not related. Hmm. Or maybe we are related. Are we actual siblings or are we siblings because we're from the same foster family? I, I would say uh, from the same horrible foster family. Okay, so we're just from the way, same foster family. Are we actually related, or did we just end up in the same shithole place? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Did we end up in the same shithole place, or not? I'd say siblings. Okay. Because I, I was going to roll with it in a totally different way if we weren't siblings. Or we could still roll with it that way. Were you going to try and bang me? Let's be honest. <laughs> Maybe. I, I won't lie, I did happen to know a couple people where the uh, dude was adopted, and the chick wasn't, and they were getting it on on the regular. <laughs> Okay, and we're left with twos and fours, so we now need to do a need. So we need one need, we need one location, and we need one object. Uh, hmm. Each, right? Uh, no, we just need one. The reason it's need slash object slash location is because it could be any one of the three between you and me, Seawall and you, or me and Seawall. For oh, example, yeah, I'm going that. to pick the location... And I'm going to make it between me and Seawall. Our location is the restaurant floor. Okay. Yes. Okay. And with that said, that means... Well, uh, what's our relationship? I uh, forgot. We're gamblers who place bets on anything. Gamblers who place bets on anything. Okay. Which presumably means that you're at least kind of buddies. Because yeah. otherwise, why would you hang around with them to bet this much? Exactly. That's why I hate you. You were taking all the... Oh, no, because we got the hostess. Yeah. yeah. You bastard. You steal my bitch and my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Better than my brother stealing my bitch, I suppose. But, you know. Bro, bro, bro. It's okay. It's okay, dude. She's hot. <laughs> That's his reason. <laughs> I can't do a bro thing. Okay. Well, Bard, are you going to define the location further? Set up the object or set up the need? Uh, let's go with the need. Okay. I love number one. I wish we saw it once. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I used to get fucked and forget that bitch. Yeah. That's tempting, honestly. Yeah. Oh, fucked no up. Left. Not fucked. We only have. Um, yeah. Only have fours and twos. Oh we, shit. Yeah. Uh, get famous. To get. Fa oh, nice. Okay, so between who? Me and you? You and I, yeah. Okay, so me and we Bard are... We want to be famous are, after have... our fucked up childhood. So we, we want to get famous. Got it. Yep. Okay, well, I guess see well. That means you can either find the need further, the location further, or you can set up the object between you and Bard. And the object's either going to be information or transportation. We hate each other, but we carpool. <laughs> take, take transportation. Take transportation, because look at transportation. Just look at that one. Look at that one. We would have the choice between a 16-tray feed spec or an underage food runner with pink hair. Yes! <laughs> transportation. <laughs> it's the hot new hostess. She's the underage. No, 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 no. I'm going information. I'm going information. <laughs> if it wasn't underage... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so okay, so the object is information. Luckily, the last one is random, so it doesn't. So that's good. So information. Yeah. Uh, that's that's nice. I would now like to note at this point that um, uh, I would like to note at this point that we now only have fours left. <laughs> so okay, let's see. Uh, Four, location, uh, the chef's favorite table. 
or four, the chef's favorite table, or four, <laughs> the chef's favorite table. <laughs> okay, so chef's favorite table. Well, that's the thing. I can either find the need further, the object further. Basically, right now, it's me and Bard's choice of what thing you get to randomly choose. Yeah. Uh, uh, to get famous from your sparkling personality. <laughs> Uh, uh, do do we want well, to do that? Bard? Chefs, chefs often do get famous. Some flavor chefs do get famous because of their personality. Think of Emery. Emerald, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. You either have to be hot or have something weird in your personality. Yeah. Even uh, if that is just being a dick. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick uh, to get famous by <laughs> sparkling personality. Uh, so. That's part of our job, is to get famous from our personality. Other things we do along the way are just stepping stones. So, Bard, you now get to decide, if it's, what is it? Is it the chef's favorite table, or the admin password to the POS system? Hmm. And that means Seawall can pick any of the ones he wants from the other one. I like how we didn't use any fours till the end. <laughs> That's yeah. somehow very perfect. admin password oh nice okay so seawall that means you get to decide what it is on the restaurant floor uh there we go so the chef's table the chef's table no you, it's no, you, random. you get to choose because it's the last thing you just get to choose yeah it, it's the last die can be any number okay yeah the last die becomes wild you know what table 13 is also haunted <laughs> with the wobbly leg uh I'm actually considering the hostess stand. That's about getting the girl. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> You're stuck in the kitchen. I'm the one running the front end. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the one that's going to be on TV, bitch. Oh, my God. I get <laughs> and it. Then she'll yeah. have to love me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, Vanessa. Okay. Uh, my brain is failing right now. I can't figure out what the POS system is. Uh, it's the point of the sale that takes bills. Yeah. 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 Point of sale. Okay. Well. Okay, guys. I got it. I got it. This is gonna be great. Uh, now we just need to name ourselves and come up with what we are. I'm feeling like um, one of us is either the sous chef or the head chef, and I'll stop sharing now because we don't need to keep sharing right now. My vote is Bard as the head chef. I'll take it. Okay, Bod's the head chef. I'm the front. I like to be the front end manager. Okay, the basically I'm the one. Basically I'm the one running the. I'm I'm running the restaurant up front. <coughs> general manager is the term. Yeah. Well, uh, there's there's multiple terms: general manager and front end manager. Both apply though. Basically, ge yeah, general manager works. I'm gonna be the sous chef. Yeah, it's normally general manager or um. Head of house. Oh God! I just thought of a name for uh, your guys's uh, uh, the, your guys's show. If you if you're gonna get famous from your uh, personalities as uh, chefs, uh, the, the, um, like like uh, like uh, the hell the Hell's Kitchen Brothers, or whatever. It's copyrighted. Wait, well, wait. The thing is, we also need to come up with names for our characters. I have already decided on mine. Yeah. I am Axel Lamont. <laughs> I was hoping one of you. Well, you realize that means we both have to have the same surname. Not exactly. Not if you're bio if not if you're not biological brothers. Yeah. Yeah. We said we were that we were siblings who ended up in the same shitty place. Do you not like Lamont? No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I just went. I wanted to go as French as possible, which would be the thing. All right, then. I am JF Jean Francois. If you can hear the cocksuckers yeah. on the road behind me, I apologize. It's fine. So, JF or Jean-Francois. So we both changed our names to be super French, even though we're from Hell's Kitchen <laughs> in New York. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, I love it. And I developed an English accent as a coping mechanism. Now I forced myself <laughs> to have an English accent for the TV show that's kind of going to come someday. Okay, yeah. uh, wait, wait, wait. What's the restaurant's name that we're currently all working at? Uh, 
Uh, let's go with uh, the the Sixth Street Bistro. Six. So, and the bistro owned by the celebrity chef is put at Sixth Street Bistro. Okay. See, well, you got a name yet? Yeah, Robert Warson. Oh, okay, Robert. Yeah. Bobby. Warson. Oh, Robert. So now the basics of it is this, see, well, at the beginning of the scene, you either um, set up who's in the scene and then set up if it ends well for you or ends, uh, you know, poorly for you. Or you set up what the scene's about and then as the scene role plays out, the group decides if it ends poorly for you or if it ends well for you. Or they can decide at the very beginning of the scene. It's up to the group. And then, you know, you role played out as it slowly goes bad for you. Anyway. Just don't vote bad every time, or we'll do don't the same vote. to you. It's pretty much self-policing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how about I'll let the group decide, and it starts as an argument between the general manager and the head chef about the upcoming night. Okay, that works. So. Well, th this whole scenario is set across a weekend, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So basically, it's probably at the beginning of the weekend because remember the restaurant hasn't been yeah. doing well. Yeah. So there's all these VIPs. So. So, uh, what's your character's name again? Uh, just sorry, JF is, is what he goes for short. Short. Yes. He's so JF. I'll let the group decide. I'll, I'll let the group decide. Do you guys want this to be? Do you guys want to decide at the beginning of the scene or at the end of the scene? Uh, I think just mostly play it by ear. Yeah, and we'll play it by ear. A lot of the time, it's like, is the setup going to end in any way possible? Uh, in any way good? But then there are other times where it's like, you know what? That's so daring. I just want it to work. It's good. Yeah, and then other times you just want to see where it plays out. So you're basically just arguing with the chef about what? The menu? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, he Overdone had 50... truffles. No, 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 no. He had uh, 50 pounds of eel meat delivered. <laughs> okay. Jean? Jean, you got to justify to Robert the 50 pounds of eel meat. Go. We're a bistro. The whole point is we take the off cuts. We take the shit that other places don't want and we make it good. And who the hell wants to eat eel? Hipsters and English people. And you're a Frenchman. Do you think any Brit would want to eat at a restaurant run by a Frenchie? Yes. Who pretends to be British. I'm not even French. <laughs> Look, I understand you want to spice as many up for this weekend, but we gotta go with what we know. We can't just throw out the menu and get this weird shit in here out of nowhere. The and shit I smells. Know jellied eel pies. Point to me a fish that doesn't smell. Sir, the jelly eel pies are coming along lovely, but we're running low on Tabasco sauce. Why are you putting Tabasco with jellied eels? No, no, for You the, know what? You know what, beef Johnny? Wellington. We, we, we normally don't agree on much, but uh Again, I, I agree with you on this one. Why in God's name is there Tabasco in that? The la random lady from the back runs back away after that, realizing that both the people are looking at her. It's like, well, I'm removing myself from this situation. <laughs> Look, I'll let I'll be I'll let you have it as a trial run tonight, but you gotta return most of that meat and get what we know. Have it as some sort of special. Eel. The guys who bought it, we still have the damn receipt. What, you oh, don't yeah, know about? it's fish of the day. Nah. It's fish of the day. Catch of the day, rather. Uh, Catch of the... We could have gotten... We could have gotten sea bass for only ten cents more a pound. Everyone's already had sea bass. You sure have? Yeah. Yeah. But they know what sea bass tastes like. They don't know what the hell eel tastes like. We're already on the last legs as it is. By we the can't way, take risks like this. Well, if maybe you would stop betting on everything. Hey, uh, guys, so we're grilling the eel. Like, we're grilling half of it and we're jelly eeling the other half, right? No, yeah. no, no, no. Don't do anything. Exo looks at Robert, then looks at John, looks to Robert, looks to John, shrugs. The Frenchman is also smoking a cigarette. 
Sorry, the not Frenchman is also smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Which never seems just... to run out. You never see him light one, it's just always going. <laughs> Axel just looks at both of you like... You know what? The... You know what? I've, I've done what I can, but Johnny, I swear, if this backfires on you, the owner's dude. gonna be pissed. Dude, dude. Whatever you say, Bobo. Robert, okay, okay, whatever. Never mind. Axel just guides down. And I think that ends poorly for you, Zewell, because you didn't get the eel off the menu. I'm not a chef, so I couldn't exactly argue it. Yeah, fair enough. But I'm willing I mean, to accept that. That technically yeah. was your character's goal, was to get the eel off the menu. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that ends poorly for C. Uh oh. Uh, that's not good. No, Bard! Right. Yep, there we go. Sorry. There we go. Okay. <laughs> He's back. Basically, I just wanted to kind of prime it with a nice little. Uh, I'm, I, because the thing is, I yeah, have to win or lose. Calling him you know out what? on it. I know. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. I'm calling him out. Well, Seawall, you have a bad die, and because it's the first act, you give the bad die to somebody. Ooh. So I give the bad die to somebody. Yep. Yeah. And in the second half, you just keep them as you accrue them. I think. Yep. First half, you give them away. Second half, you keep them. I'm gonna give the bad die to V. Okay, I get a bad die. I have one bad die. One. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I'll... Uh, Bard, do you want to go next, or do you... Uh, or shall I go next? Uh, you can go next. Okay. So that's our order, then. It's Seawall, me, Bard. Okay, that works. Uh, hmm. Okay, uh... <laughs> uh... You know what? Axel's going to be trying to convince Robert that he can he can sell all the eel in one night as a bet. He's going to try and convince okay. Robert into that. That's the scene set up. Okay. Are we doing this at any particular location? Uh, we're probably doing it in the back, in the restaurant okay. itself. Yeah. You know, okay. in the underbelly. Um <laughs> Axel's like, Robert, Robert, come in, come in. I got a bet for you. You're going to love this one. Go, okay, what is it? He shows you a bunch of the eel that's on skewers and he's roasting it. Okay, okay. Now follow this. Eel snake. Roasted eel snake is an appetizer special. Have you been huffing paint like your brother? Uh... Not recently. <laughs> Technically never, but, you know... We slept in the shed as children. I mean... <laughs> you, well, you know how we kind of grew up together, so you know there's that. But now that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, here's the thing. Like, look at this. Look at this eel. Look how crispy it is. Like, take a bite. Take, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I take a bite and immediately spit it up. What in the God's name is that? It is actually pretty good. It just tastes like... White fish. Yeah, it eels is delicious. It's crispy too, because it's been cooked on hot coals. So the skin and all that nice fat bubbles up. I think you overcooked it or got some bad fish. Tastes like crap. Oh, don't don't worry about that. That's just that's just the first batch. Anyways, we can lose one pound of eel and still make it back easy. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's my bet. We can sell all this tonight. No way in hell. No way in hell, you say? This thing is too weird just to sell to people. People aren't used to it. We're not known for doing eel. We're known for – we are known for doing some fish, but basic stuff like salmon or bass. This is not going to sell. There's going to be some people who try it, and if the next batches turn out like this, people are going to see it, and they're not going to order it. Uh-huh. So what you're saying is I can't get it to sell. No. So you don't want to take that bet then? No, I'll take that bet. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Oh man, no. Twenty bucks. Twenty what bucks. No, man. Nah. Uh. I. You know, actually, I. You know what? Twenty bucks. Uh. Let's make it forty. Fine. Forty bucks. He takes your hand. Does the predator handshake with you? 
Or they point out he said he didn't say they'd like it. He said he could sell it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but here's the problem. If there's some initial reactions and it gets around that we're that the stuff's crap, it's done. And, it, and this one tastes like crap. Good I'm officially calling there, it. By the way. Yeah. Well, that that will come down to later on in the scenes, etc. Anyways, yeah. I think that's a. What do you guys think? Good or bad for me? I'd say Gurdji got him to take the bet. And got him to raise it from the initial thing he threw out. So. Okay. You know what, Bard? I'm going to give you that good die. Okay. Yeah. Now it's Bard's turn. Are you going to set the scene or what are you? I am currently barking orders and as I'm on my hands and knees in front of the eel pies watching them cook. <laughs> Willing them not to burn. <laughs> yeah, Axel, Axel's leaning on you. He's just leaning on you, chewing on a, <laughs> chewing on a toothpick. I'm still smoking the never-ending cigarette. <laughs> Axel's uh, got a little rebreather in so he doesn't have to smell the cigarette because he's super self-conscious about those things. Yeah. <laughs> How's the eel pie coming? It's going brown. Smelling good. That's good. The roasted eel appetizers are all sold out already. Shit, really? Yeah. We only made about 15 pounds of it. Well done, you. Uh-huh. Well, we still have to sell the rest of, of the eel for me to win the bet. Vindication will be mine. Uh-huh. Hmm. So... You know those, um, the management stuff? Got any yeah. clue who the new owners are? If we are selling? Say again, sir? Got any clue who the new owners are? Then not one, just that they want to pay for it. I think they might be Italian. Oh, good, Italians. I don't doubt they want it to stop being a bistro. Oh, well, from what I've heard, Emerald's coming tonight, so maybe he's buying it. Might be. Give him the jelly deal. I can do that. <laughs> Wait, are you being like, good jelly eel or bad jelly eel? No, give him, give him like a free jelly deal. Just like, say it's, I don't know. Compliments of the chef as a random gift or some shit. I don't know. So, I mean, what are we looking for here? Like, how brown are we looking here on these pies? Have you never seen pastry cook before? I mean, okay, so they're getting about done then. I'll, I'll take one out, slice it open, and see if it's done. And then take a bite, if it is. Well, this is where we get to the side. Does it end well or does it end poorly? Is the jelly deal taste? Personally, I like jelly deal. I'm going to say no. You guys overcooked it. Ooh, that's actually pretty good because people... It'll still be okay, but but any discerning chef will know it's overcooked. This is true. Yeah. So, I like that one, actually. So, I say we do that. Yeah, plus we've literally never made it before. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm cool but I like the idea that like Axel's grilled eel before. He's just like, yeah, I've grilled eel before. Because yeah. eel's scraps, and we grew up in a foster home, and we needed something to eat. So what did I do? I grilled <laughs> eel. Yeah. We <laughs> fished it, and yeah. then cooked it on the grill that we made over a fire pit in that shed. Which heated up the paint, which caused other problems. <laughs> which heated up the paint, but I sat outside, you grilled inside. <laughs> Axel's just like, no. Nope. That's He's... when I got struck with foreign accent syndrome, which, by the way, is a thing. Yep, I, I like this idea that Axel is, like, super teetotaler. He's like, nope, yeah. nope, nope. <laughs> I, yeah. there, I think it was even on Dr. So Phil or something. There was so, some uh, woman yeah, who it's, it's had developed weird... a Jamaican accent from it, and yeah. it was like, well, how do you feel about this? And this white chick just goes, I'm devastated. <laughs> That's amazing. And I really... It shouldn't have been funny. Oh, God. It really okay. was. So, that's a negative. So, Bard, you have a bad die to give out. I will give it to Seawall. Seawall's got a bad. Okay. Okay. Seawall, are you going to set up the scene or what? Oh, do you give yes. the good ones or keep those? You give them out, good or bad. 
Yeah. Just checking. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you have one good, and me and Seawall both have one bad. I, uh... I'm setting the scene. I'm gonna start. Can I do it with both of you or only one of you? Yeah, you can. We can both be in the scene. Do it, both. Yeah. Okay, you guys are both in the scene. I come storming back with a platter of like, of of half of your first order of this eel, and I of these of these eel pies, and I just slam it down. Emery just walked out, yelling that the shit was overcooked. Woo! Half the customers want, and half the customers want new orders. Woo! What the hell did you guys do? Woo! I told you we should have sticked with what we did, not with this new crap. I, I put an ace and said he's the one that grilled it. I made pies. Try some pie. And he offers no, you a hit. No, well, no, 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 he's no, holding no, the, the pies. pies. He's got the pies. He's bringing the pies back. Oh. Yeah. Aisle's just going woo. <laughs> Suddenly turns into Ric Flair. No, dude, dude, did, did, did yeah. you get it? I've also got several Emerald's not the boss! Emerald's not the boss! We're not working for Emerald! That's awesome! Because if you're the owner of a goddamn restaurant, you just don't storm out if you're buying it. Oh, fuck, who's owning it then? At least Emerald's a nice dude. Oh, we're so screwed. Yeah, and now I've got, and now I've got something akin to a, a, a riot out there. People demanding the order be changed right now. You better well, come up with something quick. Don't worry, don't worry. I got this, I got this, I got this. And no more eel. Well, we sold all the eel already. No, I still see a half dozen pies back there. People have been asking their orders be changed and they haven't gone out yet. Well, just tell them that these are better eel pies. And that the first They just saw a celebrity chef walk out saying this is the worst eel pie he's had in years. They don't want it anymore. Tell him that he's Italian and he doesn't know a goddamn you pill if it hits him in yeah, the face. Yeah, it isn't Italian judging an English dish. Exactly. I can't anything that helps. Their, I can't change their orders. I've already gotten chewed out by four customers. Your little experiment failed. Saying, all right, all right, quit your bitching. I'll go to the fucking POS system. And he wanders over to it. <laughs> Actually, no, that's probably in the front of the shop, so he probably walks out the scene there. It's probably actually yeah. in the bar area. To keep it's it still so it's not still... in the in the chef. Oh well, yeah, the I know. I was saying it's still probably yeah. in the front, but not you know. You know, it's out of the way basically. Uh, Axel looks at all the eel pies and just gets a grin. Actually, I take one of them out with me, which I'm eating at the bar at the POS system. Like, mmm, oh, fucking jelly deal. Yes. He, I, he turns out one of the eel pies and basically cracks it open. It's like, okay, now here's the plan. And he's like, here, it's eel strong enough or something. Just sell it to something else. Like, eel Wellington. <laughs> yeah, eel Wellington. They don't want eel. I'm, I've already been, I've already checked the orders. They're changing to chicken and all right, beef. All right. How about this? But the pies River are a goddamn an appetizer. You can't change a chicken and beef for an appetizer. What is what are wrong with these people? And he, that's when he storms back in and he goes, Guys, I've got it. What? We rebrand it. Okay. As like, we don't mention the word eel. We just use the word river court. Because like it's it. entirely true. I mean, he's not wrong. And it's organic, too. I mean, I bought it that way. This is this is a plan. You, you bought organic eel. You know that we're supposed to run everything by ma uh, You know the whole organic thing is bullshit, right? I know, but it brings in hipster money. Yeah, that's the thing. The hipsters start coming in about eleven, so we just store the eel pies. We call it River Cork, and we throw it into them at the bars and stuff late tonight. We sell it we off. Yeah, this is the we problem. We gave it to the dinner market, not the late night market. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We crank it up a few dollars more. By the time then, it's going to not really matter that it's overcooked. And, Especially you know, if maybe uh, maybe if we knock a little bit of percentage off at the bar. You know, people get hungry, people get a bit drunk, and yeah, even and if they don't like it that much, they won't remember. They'll just like it because it's because it's filling. Yeah, and what we do is we throw. You know, yeah. I can make a quick whiskey sauce for it. Ooh. You know what? Yeah, that might work. 
I, I'm, I'm, I reach my pocket, pull up my wallet. You know, here you go. I just give you forty bucks. I don't. Okay. Well, we don't know if it's gonna. Sell. Okay. I can see the bet. I can see the bet. You win. Sure. Make a counter hey. bet. Hey. I spent a fate point to make you make a counter bet. Hey, dude, I dude. I got have a, those I got another bet. I bet you can't get the hostess tonight in the back room, either of you. I win if, well, John gets her back there, but you win, of course, if you get her back there, Robert. So we're doing a three-way bet. You well, bet neither of us can get her. No, I'm betting that I'm betting that either John can get her. I, if neither of you get her, then no, neither of us win. But if John gets her, you know, I win. If you get her, you win. Simple, right? And yeah, yeah. What I need on every change is we yeah. need next weekend off if we get it. Then who's gonna cook? I need at least one of you cooking. I can't have both of you cook. I can't have both of you out. We don't need to be gone for the full weekend. We just need Saturday. We'll take a and... day off each. Yeah. Can we, we just... stagger the days off? Yeah, yeah I'll take need... Saturday. He takes Sunday. Yeah. No, flip it. I need you on the Saturday night. I need you Saturday night, Sunday night slower. All right, fine. That works for me. We just need a group of six consecutive hours off. That's all we need. So you're looking fine. suspiciously. Like, what do you need six hours for precisely? Okay. I think that ends well for Sewell because you get the eel off, uh, but you still, in one way, you know, got what you wanted. Uh, yeah, concessions were made, so I'd say that's a good one. Yeah, and yeah. the emerald thing is now basically, confirmed that we're not being bought by a random celebrity chef. Basically, I, I, basically, I technically won the bet partially, but I conceded it because you would uh, just because I'm trying to be at least decent. Yeah. Because the thing is, uh, you will be selling all the eel, but the problem is you had to rebrand it in the middle of the night, and you were borderline catastrophe yep. and you're gonna and also you're gonna have to throw out some of the eel because it's already been bitten into you can't resell that yeah. so who are you gonna give that good die to see well uh, i have to give it to one of you guys yep yeah you i'm gonna be nice. in the second half yeah I, i'm gonna give it to bard it's gonna be nice okay <laughs> bard now has two good dice woo 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 yeah that's oh nice. you're keeping track of the dice by the way i hope i am yeah bard's got yeah. two i got one bad and see what's got one bad. And uh, here's where we're going to get to the fun. Oh, fun. Okay. Uh, so. Actually, I'm going to go out and have a word with that. Oh, no, it's not my go next, is it? It's my go. So uh, yeah. Axel is, because he's got a need to get famous for his sparkling personality, he's, well, um, there's, there's a break between the dinner crowd where they're swapping out certain things because the dinner crowd ends up about yeah. nine ish so and we're basically swapping for the late stuff with the bar being the primary source of revenue but there's still of course people coming in for late night dinners etc we're doing the swapping of what our primary dishes are etc uh cooking up more things uh axel uh smiles and br and is trying to get john in close to tell him about his new scheme for the weekend that they have off Hey, hey, John. Could I could I add a little bit of uh, something that uh, sure uh, that I'm doing that you guys can see in the background? Yeah, sure. I'm helping out that hostess chick a little bit, talking with her, making small talk while uh, helping Thank her you. get table set up. I feel like that's going to lead into the next scene. Uh, so, <laughs> John, 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 listen to me. I, this is why we need the weekend off. What? He smiles and points. Here, look. He shows a little thing. Food Network, the interviews we got. Mm -hmm. I told them that we could get maybe six hours or so off together. So that's the Saturday. And then we have the rest of the day for another eight-hour interviews individually for each of us. As long as we can make it, we got an interview, dude. I love it. Yeah, you would. He just grabs you by the head and kisses you on the forehead. <laughs> No one said I didn't play fair. Uh, it's gonna be. I mean, it's mean to Robert, but 
you know, he's a decent guy, but eh. We'll, we'll yeah, carry we'll... him with us, maybe. Fucking bastard. <laughs> no, we gotta bring him to American Iron Chef with us. <laughs> well, um... Uh... It's true, it's how we can get the Americans to eat European food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and we can <laughs> use... We can use him if we if they decide to do a new Good Eats show. We can have him be our W person. I don't know you, what that means. Uh, you see, uh, you, you see the girl. I'm gonna call her Sarah. She she's laughing at some jokes that uh, Robert's making. Okay, now, dude, it's all on you. Do what you can. Win her over, and remember, win or lose, at the end of the day. We still got each other, brother. You know, we could always just fire him, and then hire him back tomorrow. Okay, we're not we're not cheating. Don't cheat. Oh. It's creative use of the rules. Okay, okay. Last last minute resort if we need to. Uh, you guys. I don't, don't remember. We don't own the restaurant waves. as much as we want to. Yeah. 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 One day. Yeah. Another and bite of pie. He claps John on the back and pushes him out to go talk to the hostess girl. After filling him basically with the secrets of the plan. Uh, were you sous chef or manager to see one? No, I'm, I'm manager. Yeah, uh, just checking. Yeah. Yeah. Seawall is the general I manager. Know. Yeah, I, I, yeah, and uh, there's there's no firing me unless you're the owner. <laughs> so Bard, who are you going to give that? Um, wait, no, I'm the. So is that a good die? I feel it's a good die. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, who do I give the good die to? Seawall or Bard? As much as I want it, I do already have two. Yeah. Yeah. Seawall, you're getting the other good die. Nice. Okay. Uh. Well, Bard, are you going to set up the scene, or are you going to uh, turn it into um, or bad for you? I am going to be in the back, making a mock-up of what we're going to serve to the hipsters later on, uh, with you know, sliced up in weird ways and with the whiskey sauce. And I'm yeah. going to send a scullery boy to go and bring Sarah back here for a minute. Yeah. Hello? Uh, you need to see me, Mr. Francois? I'll slide it over and goes, here, this is what we need you to really push to the hipsters when they come in tonight. Oh, oh okay, Mr. Fenswell. She twirls her hair. Okay, uh, now this is hyperallergenic, uh, river, uh, what's that word? Uh, what did we, uh, what was it we came up with? Um, uh, river, river court. court. Yeah, river court. River court, okay. No, sorry, river cart. Court. C A U G H T. Okay, River Cot Bloody Court. Americans. River Cot Court with a whiskey sauce. Uh, ooh, it looks delicious. So don't use the word eel, but if they figure out that's what it is, don't lie about it. Because that will look bad. Don't lie about it being eel. Okay. Eels but don't the tell them out right, look like sausages, right? Yeah, it's the it's the snake in the river thing. Okay, they're the snake rivers. Okay, I think that will get more hipsters if you call it snake rivers. But okay, I I will call it what it is. Uh, and if they ask if it's eel, then I say it's eel, or I just say it's whitefish. Thing I say it's just whitefish. I think it's a whitefish meat. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 she looks around. Is there anything else I need for you? Yeah, I was wondering if, um, well, you see, I was going to see if I could get uh, some time off for you next weekend, because, well, my brother and I, we kind of need a hand with something, and I was, well, I can't trust a scullery boy with it. Uh, Mr. Mr. Francois, I'm not that type of girl. I can't just do something like that on the weekend, especially with two gentlemen. Well, that's, what on earth are you implying? It's... It's work matters. Oh, oh, it's work matters. Oh, yeah, it's work. See, I was remembering what Mr. Warson asked me. Oh. But then he said it was work matters as well, and I guess I'm just a bit flustered today. Is all. We got so many people, and that Mr. Lagasse just ran out the door. Oh well, with him, it's all pops. Um, 
it's all pomp and circumstance and sensationalism. It's either it has to be the best meal or the worst meal is ever eaten. And, 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 uh, and you can see the vein of his temple throb just for a second. <laughs> I'm just expecting Robert to storm in at some point and be like, hey, what are you... <laughs> I almost, uh... No, 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 I'm not going to interfere. Robert's busy dealing with the front end. Yeah, there is shit to prepare for for the next shift of people coming in. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to say this ends well for Bard because Robert isn't interfering, so he's able to easily just chatter up more. You know, get her to agree to some things as Robert uh, is unable to do much to do anything because he's working up front and Axel doesn't really care he's just in it for the bet yep. so <laughs> Bard you have a good die to give away Seawall could use it um, yeah I'll give you one Seawall okay so I got two good and a bad yep okay and at that point we're now at the tilt so okay. at this point we roll. Oh wait, no! I would have thought the tilt would be after that because we were doing two days, weren't we? Um, yeah. So, so surely the tilt should be after the hipster rush and the next day. Yeah, so it's the next day basically. But I mean, we're at the tilt basically <laughs> dice wise. Oh. So I think basically, well, considering all things that have happened with all the good dice, etc., the eel goes well, and moving into the next day, that's when the tilt happens. So mm -hmm. the tilt is happening on the next day. Which is always a good sign. It's the beginning of the next day and something is going wrong. <laughs> hey, it's the dinner rush. How does it go wrong? Let's get that tilt page up. There we go. Here's the tilt. I think it's because people are demanding more eel, but I didn't order more. <laughs> That's shit. Um, okay. I'll, I'll there you. A very rotund woman is yelling at Sarah right at the beginning of the dinner rush. Oh, no, no. We, we roll I... for this. We roll for this. This oh. is what makes it best. Oh. Okay. But first up, okay. we get to roll for who decides what the tilt is. So, Seawall and Bard, both of you roll your two good dice. And me and Seawall roll our one bad dice. So, 2d6 for yep. the good dice. Yeah, I got to roll 1d6 for bad. Yep. So, Seawall's got a 7. Bard, what are you going to get? Okay, so see what me tied with a five, so uh, re-roll the five. Uh, re-roll it. I got a five again. Okay, so one. I'm, the, I get the, I'm one of the arbiters for the tilt, and see what's the other arbiter, because Bard Damn rolled it. crap. <laughs> okay, and the last remaining dice we now roll up, which, because there is the group of us, that's six dice to pick from. So, okay. So the tilt, okay, so we have a good few choices. So for the first thing for our tilt, uh, I'll pick first, because that's how we picked first last time, uh, the tilt. Uh, let's add this to the dock, the tilt. Okay, the tilt involves what? Okay, I think the very first thing obviously we need is mayhem so the tilt is divided into two things there's the greater one and then a lesser one of course for each of the two things so one is mayhem five is paranoia four is guilt six is failure and then each of those have subcategories so after of course mayhem uh here's the question see well are you going to further define mayhem, or are you going to define guilt, paranoia, or failure, as the other one? So what was so you said that you said the first one was paranoia, no, and, and mayhem. Uh, I mean. yeah. Mayhem is the first one, and you can either further define it, or you can define the other aspects of the tilt, which is either guilt, well, paranoia, I don't know. or failure. Well, I don't know how to uh, define uh, uh, mayhem because I don't see okay, a, a page, uh, man. Here, yeah, here you go. Uh, mayhem one, an out of control rampage. Four. Magnificent self-destruction. Five, cold-blooded score settling, or six, misdirected passion. I'm gonna I, go with one. I would say one or five would be good because maybe that celebrity chef can come back and start messing shit up. An out-of-control rampage. Yeah, he just comes back and starts flipping tables or something. 
Wait, that means I get to pick the other major aspect for the... Okay, that's fine. You know what? <laughs> okay, since we use both or We use... Wow, that's a bunch of ones. Okay, uh... I'm going to use failure. Something's going to go horribly as a failure. So that's our six. So, Seawall. Uh, one, a stupid plan executed to perfection. Four, a good plan comes unraveled. Or five, you thought it was taken care of, but it wasn't. Well, the first one was basically the whole day before, wasn't it? <laughs> basically, yeah, so yeah. I'm not going to do one. So what was four again? A uh, good plan go comes unraveled? Yeah. And five was, you we thought we tidied everything up, but we didn't. Yes. I'm going to go with five. <laughs> okay, this is perfect. Okay, I got exactly what five is. Turns out Emerald is the guy buying the stuff. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, isn't that perfect? Our plan was flawless, but... <laughs> Turns out, no, he is. Yeah. What is an Italian one with the bistro? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to turn into a family Italian restaurant. Fuck him, then. <laughs> a family Italian restaurant. He's going to call it Shea Emral. <laughs> oh. Shea Emral. Yeah. Well, you can't blame him for Spunk, at least. So he's going to come in pissed, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, that's the... So, see, well, you can start off the first scene. Are you going to decide it, or are you going to decide if it ends well or badly? I'm oh. going to say it ends well, and the scene is Emerald comes in, and he starts yelling at Sarah. Okay. Ooh, that's good. I want to see how this plays out. So, I think I got it. Uh... Emerald's yelling at Sarah. I'm going to step in. Yeah, but Robert steps in and is able to placate him. Bard, do you want to be Emerald? Yes, this means I get to crack out my Gordon. Oh, oh no, he's Italian. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. It's secretly Gordon Ramsay all along. He rips off the face mask. <laughs> just, with really sh just with a spray tan and a fake mustache. <laughs> Emerald doesn't have a mustache. But yeah, hmm. do it. Uh, what was the trouble again? It was good plan gone bad, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's just gonna. We'll say no, no, that no, 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 no. It wasn't good plan gone bad. It was we thought we tightened everything up. Oh but yeah, it so wasn't we quite tightened, tightened it. But yeah. 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 Because yeah. he wasn't here. He wasn't here to see that the pies did successful with the hipster crowd. Yeah. 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 Exactly. In that case. I'm going to say that it went so well the night before, and through some jigging on our part and calling in a couple of favors, we did manage to get another 50 pounds of eel meat. However, yeah. he's so indignant that he walks in and just struts his way straight into the back, and we're going to say that I'm just throwing rubbish out the back so I don't ever talk to myself like so an asshole. So basically, uh, you're in the background while Robert's trying to placate him. Okay. Yeah, well, he storms well, he, straight into no, no, the uh, no, no, back no, freezer. No, no, not your scene. No, 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 it's no, 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 no. He storms into the restaurant and starts yelling at Sarah, who was just happened to be at the front door at the time. Yeah. And <laughs> Roberts, and it's going to end good because because uh, Robert's going to placate him. Yeah, that's the desire to set up. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, you're that's playing, you're playing so. Emerald, so you have to eventually get placated by Robert's words. Ah, uh, okay. So start us off. Start yelling at Sarah. Because you. Miscreant waif. Yeah. I was like, how dare you suggest that thing to people? You utterly but, disgust me. But it's so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was. S S Sarah, 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 Sarah. Yes? Sarah. Yes? What, what, Can't you speak you for yourself, you unprofessional bint? Mr. Emerald, I'm the manager. Let me. Uh, you're the, you would want to talk to me about. I'm the She's general manager, below Sarah. Below the podium. Uh, Sarah, if you'd be so kind, why don't you. Uh, why don't you take five minutes? Um, t take your break a little bit early, and don't worry about it. Below the podium, fully, and then you just hear kind behind of the podium. I'm not here. Sarah's not here. <laughs> she just kind of moves away cautiously. I'm not here yeah. anymore. I'm on break. I can't help you, Mr. <laughs> Emerald. I'm sorry. I gotta go now. Mr. Emerald, I do deeply apologize for the dish that was served last night. I was, I myself was a little bit worried about us. Go uh, trying a new dish, but we took uh, the situation and we actually 
uh, worked our way around it. We changed the recipe up a little. Uh, the chefs in the back changed the recipe up a little bit. They put a uh, whiskey sauce on it and found a group that wanted to buy it. Mm, whiskey sauce. Yes. Hey, it looks thoughtful sauce. for a second. And he just walks over to a uh, to an empty table and goes, "All right, then impress me." And he sits down. <laughs> okay, that that's a perfect. I'll way grab. To, that's a perfect yeah, way I'll to go see grab some from the back for you. Yep. I'll grab. I'll go grab some from the back for you. Yeah. Okay. And and I was going to say, I'm, I'm not sure there's much yeah. other way you could placate yeah. him other than give him a good version of it. Okay, guys, yeah. guys, I don't yeah. care what how, what you set up. Okay, but the thing is, for whatever this is for Axel, it goes poorly. It's going to go poorly. Okay. Um, who's setting it up then? Uh, you guys together. You set it up together. Um, he he burned the first batch. Uh, what, completely what? of the new Epo. It's well, well, no, that, the, that would stop him being placated. So that would fuck with the scene. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It um, should, but, you know, it would call if he goes onto an uncontrollable rip. <laughs> or... He, maybe he's uh, he's been put in charge of grilling it or doing the whiskey sauce, but by accident he put scotch instead of bourbon in the whiskey sauce or something. Yeah. In yeah. the second he, batch. Yeah. 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 So everyone's accidentally getting drunk because someone didn't reduce it properly. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Grilling up some meal, grilling up some yeah, meal. Yeah, so I'm going to walk it back and say, uh, uh, so, do, do, do. Axel, Whoa. Emery's outside. He wants to try uh, that little modification we did, uh, that you guys did to the uh, pie last night. Why I mean, he... pie for Emery? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Um... Oh, yeah, that's it. You half play case him but, uh, by the fact he yeah. gets drunk off the sauce. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. He gets drunk, which leads into their rampage with later scenes, because he gets drunk and starts... Yeah, he, start, he gets too drunk. <laughs> he demands more eel, and he asks for <laughs> wine. So he's drinking red wine while basically also drinking scotch from the eel plate. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, okay um, here, give him this. It, he hands him an eel skewer and, uh, as a little thing for the whiskey sauce, and he then puts on an eel pie. And some eel pie. Okay, quickly, quickly, get, get out of here, get out of here. I have to go. I have to do other things. I can't just be... Hurry up. Get, get this over with Emery, dude. R Robert, Robert, come, Robert. He's so snapping his finger. Come on, dude. Oh, and, th oh, and that's I, when JF comes in and is in the back of the restaurant again now. Yeah, yeah I'm put, I basically put... I, you, I'm getting silverware. He came in right, at, right before opening. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm kind of in a rush. We have to... We decided to do more eel. Je yeah, I Do know. I'm taking, okay, I'm taking it out now. I'm taking it out now. Just don't burn the pies at the time. Double check them. The pies aren't burnt. The whiskey's also a bit stronger than last night, but it should be fine. Whatever. Just It'll calm them down. <laughs> whiskey, whiskey and red wine. Whis whiskey known for calming people down. Whiskey, when mixed with red, red wine, wine <laughs> and yeah. eel that's been marinating in uh, scotch. Yeah. It's just like the ultimate drunk mid's feast. Just, just slip some fucking cocaine on the fucking handle of the fork, would you? Wait, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Calm him down the, a bit more. The, the pie crust includes, rather than milk or something, includes bourbon. <laughs> well, no, if you're baking it, the alcohol will be gone by that point. Yeah, and the baking it would, and the sauce, you can fuck it up and not reduce it enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so know, it's like The, the sauce is just a little bit, un it's just a touch under-reduced, but it still tastes good for a reason. Yeah, of course, so. it's just... It's yeah. delicious. So yeah, I'm, it's I'm just... dealing with Emery now, and uh, and also checking on Sarah. Well, yeah, that's and where I've seen ends poorly because Emery starts getting drunk off of it and demanding more, which starts rushing yeah. and flustering me. More and everything... pie. More pie. Oh crap. And more wine with my pies. So he's getting drunk and disorderly. Great. <laughs> well, Bard, are you going to decide if it goes well for you or poorly for you? Or are you going to decide the scene itself? There's only one good die left. Hmm. It's going to go... badly for me. Ooh, interesting. Because I'm going to decide, now that he looks like he's at least... Uh, now that he's calling for it, I'm going to think, okay, okay guys, I'm going to go calm him down. Or just keep him busy until your pies are finished. Right? <laughs> we don't want him undercooked. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be I'll be floating around because you know 
manager trying to keep Emery happy. Uh, I've been making sure he's well fed and everything. Mr. Emery, this Mr. Entire Emery, time. you've already had three glasses of wine and two eel pies and three eel kebabs. I don't think you need any more. Uh, Mr. Francois, please help. I'm, I'm going to wander yeah. over and just put my hands on the shoulder and go, no, no, go, Sarah, I'll talk to him. You just go. You he go do your thing. away again. <laughs> I'm giving you an out. Take it. <laughs> yeah. Beep. yeah. You're welcome. You owe me one. Yeah. And he goes, I was, ah, yeah. Are you responsible for these? I was like, yeah, I came up with the idea for the eel. Well, at first you disgusted me, and now I like it so much, I think it's pretty. And then he, uh, and he goes, here you go. And he practically force feeds me some wine. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh my that okay so now the chef is okay so it's basically just turning into drunk at the <laughs> okay, um, no, yeah. no, the chef has had one glass of wine at this point he's fine for now no no it, it's it's francois what? that's not one glass of wine yeah this was not the first glass. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it's going bad is now you're not able to concentrate at all because you you've hit that that you was know, your tipping point you're drunk you know i'm right I thought you were a cunt first time I saw you, but actually, do you like it? I say, all right. Do you know who you remind me of? Who's that? My brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love my brother. I love I my mean, brother. Do you know my brother? I know your brother. I like your brother. And there's just I, two just whispering on about Yeah, that I, I'm going to walk up. I'm going to walk to the table and say, Francois, what are you doing out here? Dinner rush is about to start. I was just keeping him busy until this pie was ready. Are, are you drunk? <laughs> He's sitting in Emery's lap. <laughs> As Emery's quietly weeping into his shoulder. Shh, 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 shh. God damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I, I'm going to rush into the back. Axel, get the strongest coffee you got. Your brother got shit-faced with Emery, and it's about to be dinner rush. Okay, so I think that, so that end, so I think, okay, you're just trying to get me coffee. I think that goes perfectly to the next scene. He looks at you, uh, um, coffee. To get him strongest not shit face. black sludge you got. Strongest black sludge you got. Just make the grains wet. Uh, <laughs> okay, he looks at you. He sighs. He takes an egg, he takes some coffee grinds, he slaps the egg into a pan and cooks the coffee grinds into the egg and then throws the uh, one egg omelet to you with coffee grinds. <laughs> and he's like, this is not a new recipe that his he... brother has given him. <laughs> and then he pours some whiskey sauce on it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> unreduced whiskey sauce. So this is ending worse, isn't it? Yes, he doesn't realize it's unreduced. It's supposed to basically be the countermeasure. It's like a light bit of whiskey sauce, so it's still alcoholic, but it's, he doesn't know that it's still it's not. It's like, well done, you've managed to cancel it out perfectly, so he's exactly the same as he was before. <laughs> no, 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 no. It gets cancelled out, and then gets worse, because it's like, hmm, I'm now more aware, and now I'm angry because of all this energy from the caffeine. <laughs> Which then leads into Emery ordering the same. So they're both super hyped up on whiskey sauce egg omelets with coffee. Oh, it. So it's just, it's going, it's just, and they're both yelling at each other like, Wah! and they're just, so it's just leading into this. this not hey, Emery, why don't if you're having such a good time, why don't you call your camera crew? I need to show off how much of a good time you have. No, Ax no, 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 that's not a good idea, guys. Um, I'm going to say Axel, his scene goes poorly pretty. as he's trying to get John into the back. I'm, uh, just because, yeah. Come on, John, John, no, John, John, you can't just sit in. John, I need your help in the. Okay. I'm, I'm Axel. I'm networking for when we're famous, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to walk over to Axel. Axel, I'm starting to get questions from the customers that are getting harder to answer. Lock him in the office or get him a cab. I can't get He's him. He's done a... for the night. I can't get him a cab since the Bel Air incident last week. Then get him an Uber. I don't care. Just get him out of here. I'll get or him lock him Uber. in the office. Okay, I'll get him in the office. Okay. Okay, okay, and now I have to do that. I have to do the I have to do the palm fray. I gotta do the palm fet. I gotta do the parfait. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Those are just words coming out of my mouth. And 
Okay, it's all fine. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, people are ordering the coffee egg omelet. Oh, good. Exactly don't, what I need to be doing. Don't, don't, don't put on that. Double check the damn whiskey sauce. It, it might be getting them drunk. <laughs> but, but, but we can charge $10 for an egg and some coffee grinds. It's awesome. <laughs> he, just starts, he just puts his head in his lap. As he goes into the kitchen, like, as she's like, as me and Robert just both give up as they're like, I have fucking work to do. And he's like, oh, he just looks. So is that where the scene ends? You're getting overworked? (laughs) He's getting overworked. He's just like, oh, God, no. Because the head chef is now gone. So one of the primary people working in the kitchen is just, nope, I'm drunk as shit. And it's causing a ruckus, and he's also having to do a bunch of things they normally wouldn't do because people are like, coffee egg omelet, please, or whatever Emery's having. Uh, just, just, just lock him in the back office. He's not able to put him over a bucket. Oh, no, no, he can't. His is done. He's currently being overworked. It's my go now. Yeah, Bard, oh. Bard, I, I, Bard. No matter what, it's going to probably end positively for you. So I'm gonna say it's gonna end well, and that's because I'm currently sitting in Emery's lap. Wait, wait. With, wait. And what? Okay, so you're sitting in Emery's lap. Continue. Oh, uh, and, and we're both taking a selfie and posting to uh, with the eel pie in the background with a picture that says best new food ever hashtag 6th avenue bistro and then the address which is 6th yeah. avenue yeah. <laughs> yeah and the two of us are just smiling happily looking completely pissed on the picture yeah. and, and, and then we... I'll stumble into the back going guys look he has so many followers, we can get money. And, and when you stumble to the back, you Susan just kind of gently guides you into the back closet. And then Axel looks and he says, Robert, I won the bet. It's actually where. I, I, I thought Send it was, Susan I thought it, in here. I like I Susan. Th- I thought it was my. I thought, but what? I thought it was my turn to decide the final scene, or because I couldn't tell. Because he did. He did a bad scene, then you did a bad scene. Then isn't it my turn to do a good scene? You you skipped over me. No, we didn't. Skip. No, it, it it was you first, and then him, and then yeah. me. Yeah, and that's the last scene, is, Bard. No, 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 no. I thought you came out to talk to Emery and it was going to end badly. Yeah, and it did end Bard. badly because I didn't get him to do For anything. Bard, and then it did. It didn't. I didn't come anywhere. I just sat and there I and just got and more he just got overworked, him. and now he's super stressed, and he's, basically, in a panicked. Oh crap! What do I do? What do I do? And he's continuing to not reduce the whiskey sauce properly because he's overworked. Yeah, I'm overworked, and I'm just kind wait, of panicking. wait. But I, I, I'm missing. I think I'm missing a scene here because the thing is, I thought uh, Bard, you came out, and it was supposed to end badly for you, and then Axel came, and there was Axel's scene, and he said it was going to end badly for him. Unless I'm getting scenes mixed up. You are I think I'm scenes crossing up. scenes. Yeah. So, so you're, you're skipping your own scene between the two. What scene in the middle? Yeah, what was Seabull's scene? Uh, no, yeah, I had what I had seen right at the beginning, but then you guys had your two scenes. Then then he went right back to Bard. You skipped my scene in the middle. I was supposed to get the last good die. No, you're not the last person though. No, uh, your scene yeah, was. Yeah, uh... it makes it makes sense that I'm the last one because I'm the last one in the rotation. Yeah. But yeah, what was Seawall seen? Well, we'll have to re-listen to the recording. Maybe a mistake, Emmett, but we can check it. We can check back while listening to the recording, especially once I put it up on YouTube. Yeah, if we did skip it, sorry. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, then we, that because technically that changes who wins the bet completely. Because yeah, I would have used that good die to end the good night and to take Sarah home. Yeah, your thing was placating him. That was it. You yeah, made I him placated not him. Fed him. I placated him. You came out and got drunk with him, which is a bad thing. And then um, V came out and didn't help the matter. No, no, and, no, no, that happened. And then V fucked up the sauce. And then I went out. Yeah, and you were... Uh, you were... I was trying to get him back, and... Which would be your scene, and, and badly yeah. for you, didn't it? Yeah, because I fucked up because I got overworked. Because I can't get him to come back to help me, because he's too drunk. That means my scene. Yeah, I think we did skip your scene. Yeah, you skipped my scene, no, which means I get the last good die. No, because you have two, and then you got a third good, and you got a bad for something. I got you got two. Okay, I got one bad. I was given. Two, I was given one bad and two goods. And you have now a third good and a, th- 
and a second bad. Yeah, we've what? all done. Yeah, dude, we'll we'll re-listen to the recording later, dude. It's fine. It happens. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But Bard has not gotten a single. Uh, he's only got one bad die. You know. Wouldn't he have to get a second one? No, I got yeah. two because I got shit face. Remember? Yeah, but what was your bad die from earlier? Uh, the one was me getting shit faced, and the other was the fact that the first eel pies, the, the fact that he stormed out to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, three, six, nine. Yeah, there we go. And that's it, yeah, because Bard gets the. Because he got shit faced, and then he goes. Well, to the no, no, no. He didn't, roll any, he didn't roll any bad dies with the last one. Bard Come didn't on. roll any bad dies. He didn't get a single bad die in the first part. Yeah, yeah but he got it in the second part. The first scene he did in the bad well, ended poorly. Oh, yeah, the first the one in the second one was a bad one. Yeah. So I, just, I had two yeah. good die, one bad one. Yeah, no, you have three good one, one bad one, because you get another good one. No, I meant from the uh, from the first half. Yeah, yeah I, I'm two, just missing you had numbers two, here. You had two good, and then you got another good and another bad. So you're at three good, one bad. Yeah, same as me. Yeah. Um. No, Steve, look at what you have. You have... You have two good, one bad. You were the first. And I got another. Was... And I got another good one at the very beginning of this second scene. I only had one die before the tilt. Fair. Anyways, yeah. let's just move on. Uh, either way, it just basically ends in a good time for him, in that he's drunk off his ass. Oh, and and you know the helpful pair of tweets with him, with yeah. selfies yeah. and shit, and a shout out. So you know. Yeah. It's good yeah. for all of us, ultimately. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, everyone, roll your dice. Uh, Seawall, 3d6, subtract 2d6. Bard, 3d6, subtract 1d6. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, why do I have to subtract? Uh, okay. Basically, you, you put all of your good ones up, minus the bad ones, and that yeah. and the number when did that I get? When did I get two bads? Uh, I got one bad. From the first one when we were giving them out to each other. Yeah, yeah I got one bad die. Yeah, and then your one scene ended poorly. I thought I gave that die to someone else. Not in the second half. What scene ended poorly for me in the second half? I only did one scene. No, you... And it ended good. Okay, roll 1d6. We'll check the recording later, okay? Okay. Just get out. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not. Okay. So that's a five. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Uh, so 10 subtract 5 is 5. So that's not bad, not good, I think. And what about you, Bard? With your 3d6 three three one. minus 1d6, one right? Yep. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, that. That's not good at all. That's not. Looks good. like you grab. Looks like when Sarah was helping to the back, you grabbed her ass and you got slapped for it. No, I think we both. If it's two, I think like we both started fucking too hard in the back and suffocated. Oh wait, no, I got it. <laughs> two. You might not be dead on the outside, but you sure as hell are dead on the inside. The emotional or mental wounds you've suffered will never heal. The future is a brick wall. So I think what happened is you went to grope Sarah, and, uh, or try and do something else with Sarah, and you got, um, well... No, no, I got laid, and then she told me the next day, or, like, straight afterwards, is like, well, that was fun, bye forever, I'm leaving. What? What? <laughs> I was gonna go with that she basically cry, cried wolf on you. I wouldn't say that's emotionally dead, especially not for a, a chef. Well, going to jail... <laughs> Going to jail for, you know, uh, sexual assault, I think, would be kind of... This is true, but that doesn't really happen to celebrity chefs, either. <laughs> well, we're not a celebrity you're not chef. A celebr you're not a celebrity chef. Oh, yeah, this is true. Chef. Yeah, you're a regular person. You tried to grab at her. Um, you, you went too far. She slapped you, ran out, and called the cops. God damn it. <laughs> okay, now you just... Okay, Bard, narrate that. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add? How else does this go poorly for you? So that so the so the bad is you start to get get it on with her, because that's technically uh, it's like oh yeah you, you so the first good is you start getting on with her. The bad is she runs off and's like cops cops dude he touched me inappropriately. And then what are the two things that follow it that make it worse? 
How does it go from bad? I don't get put in prison, but I do get uh, shot twice in one kneecap and lose a leg. <laughs> you lose a leg? And then end up with phantom limb syndrome. <laughs> what the... So, so the cops... The cops, rather than going for the peaceful arrest, just shoot you in the kneecap. Welcome to America. <laughs> no, you no, you grab a knife and you're threatening the cops with a knife. They pull the gun and you got lucky you weren't killed. No, no, no. He that's why it's you know more tragic. He didn't do anything. The cops were I like, didn't do anything, that's why it ends badly. <laughs> yeah. It just goes worse. Oh yeah, we're dealing with NYPD. We're at, yeah. Res yeah resisting because, arrest. Yeah. yeah, because let's be honest, if it it would be a decent ending, you know, if I uh, pulled a knife on them and only lost a leg. <laughs> yeah. Uh See, well, you're white five, which is miserable. You're humiliated in a big public way, and whatever reputation you once had is now in a dirty piece all around you. You'll never think of these days with a shudder of horror at your own Christmas stupidity. I think yeah, I know what the, happened, uh... Seawall. What? what? The Emerald stuff basically causes a huge deluge of drunken stuff that kind of ruins your drinking. reputation as a manager for a few Well, months. no, 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 no. I, I think that... Him getting arrested would reflect poorly on me. Oh, how could the general manager hire a chef that would resist arrest and grab a girl? Basically, it's the whole the hand he's a hand grenade went off, and now my reputation's mud. Yeah, because yeah. I'm because my name's attached to the damn restaurant as the general manager, so I've got to deal with some shit for the next couple of months because of his ass. Yeah, so it's like oh. Uh... Uh, and the worst part is you like you know nothing actually happens, so you're like, oh, that's that's just bad. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like me, but it's like shit. He didn't even do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh... and Sarah's fucked off. Although on the bright side, at least it meant it happened to me and not to you when you tried it with her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nothing to write home about. Back to where you started. Maybe sore and broke, just like yesterday and tomorrow. You probably learned something though, like how to do it right next time. Oh my god, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I don't get the celebrity chef gig as a pair of brothers. I just get it as myself. And it's like, but I still have to spend the next like six months working at the chef's place. I just got to work at the 6th Street Bistro until you can get a new chef for like six months before I can get my career at yeah. Food Network. It's like, yep. And yep. of course people are like, oh, you're the guy that's friends with the brother of the guy that groped people and stuff. It's like, yep. That's like my first week or so. It's like, ah, this is this is a thing, and then it yeah. just kind of slowly, you know, the next few months it's about the same, and it gets better slowly, yeah, slowly, slowly. Yep. Robert, Robert. Yep. I'm I'm leaving you in capable hands now. I got a new chef to replace me because I'm now the head chef. Six months later. Are you ready, okay. Robert? So my sous chef, of course, is someone that's well capable. It's probably some person we brought in after I got upgraded to head chef. Okay, Robert, yep. I, I, you'll like this person. You've worked with him before. He's a good guy. <laughs> in limps, John. <laughs> no. Hey, guys, I got my new prosthetic. <laughs> That, that, that's basically where the movie ends on like that cutaway of you going no no <laughs> he's fucked this up once we're not letting him fuck it up again I didn't do anything but that's where the movie ends It ends. all you say. had to do is not drink with Emery that was the one thing you had to not do <laughs> guys, 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 the, 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 the movie ends yeah. there it ends at the no <laughs> like before you can actually get out any full syllables yeah. just like uh... the look of horror and the no black <sighs> He just, it's, like, yeah. uh, it's halfway through a sentence like the Sopranos, just cut to black. So, okay, what would have happened if I, if let's say I didn't have a negative dice and I got a 10? What would have the 10 got me? Uh, 10 is, um, 10 white is um, pretty good. It's basically the Emery thing wouldn't have shown poorly on you. Uh, here, let's see. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, 10. Uh, not too shabby. You made it out with dignity attack, though some fluke. There might even be a little profit or self-respect or something. Time to throw a little party for all your friends. Basically, it would have gone well. So, basically, it would have been like, oh, hey, I got to have sex with Sarah. Sarah and I are now going steady. Six months yeah. later, I already proposed. You yeah. bitch. 
Uh, <laughs> or if the, you had gotten a second bad die, we're just going to just be like, oh, we know what dies you have exactly, so we're just going to ignore that. So it would have been so it would have been a three in the end because a seven would have been the most likely roll. Yeah, uh, which would have been basically the nothing good, nothing bad, the weak. Uh, yeah, I still would have got a seven, but ultimately that's just you know a bit of scandal, and I'm fine afterwards. Yeah. Meanwhile, you got a two, which is pretty bad. Um, but assuming that that the um, the well, let's if that had been another bad die and you'd roll another d6, you could have gotten even worse than the five. You could have gotten down to you know bitter, grim, merciless, dreadful, or zero, <laughs> which I personally love. This probably doesn't include death, since death would be way better than whatever this is. Be creative and don't settle for the first worst thing that comes to mind. There's something darker, yeah. more awful, more wretched in there somewhere. <laughs> this game really doesn't like its players, does it? Well, I mean, no, I love you know, it. <laughs> that's the thing. I, it does not like its players, but it also loves its players. It does. It hates and loves, and I love it for it because of that part of improv, and just oh, it's gorgeous. And we did some bad things, know, some gambling, some I had with my brother. I loved the things. fuck out of him. I just didn't like him very much. You loved your yeah. brother. You don't like him. Not really. <laughs> I mean, this is the kind of thing I was going to go with the safe guy that's like, I'm normal. I'm the functioning adult here. Yeah. I'm the functioning adult with slight gambling addiction. <laughs> so unlike yeah. you, he he copes by gambling. You cope by <laughs> That's on everything, but at least that's small. Yep. I like the fact that you cope through booze and he copes through gambling. Yep. Also, hey, I, think so, like, yeah. well, I know action. how to keep myself just under drunk so I can still work. I shouldn't have shoved the wine in my mouth. <laughs> also, I like this idea that so, basically yeah. it was this per like if this is an actual movie, there'd be constantly scenes of the two of us, like me and Robert constantly making light bets on the side, like those two are gonna kiss, like I think those two are gonna kiss. Or, I yeah. bet you this guy orders a double shot. Fuck yeah. yeah. Well, I would win most of those bets because I'm the one who deals with people most of the time. You're the one in the back. <laughs> yeah, but when it comes to like orders of food, I'm like always right. Yeah. So it just is constantly just I get drink, the same dollar I get bill. Drink or, I get drink orders right and people right. You get uh, food orders uh, right. You, yeah, you get food orders right. So it's just constantly and scenes problem of customers like, before they happen. Yeah. So it's just constantly. I, you know what? That would that would be. A, I, I'd say that uh, the customers. It'd be a toss up between the two of us. That one's sometimes it'd be sometimes. Yeah, that one's fifty fifty. I just like the idea though. It's this constant exchange of like a one or a five dollar bill. Like, do do, yeah. and there's just constantly scenes of us like making a bet. Then someone comes over <laughs> like they ordered this, and then I take the five dollar bill or you take the five dollar bill. We just constantly swap it back and forth. It's the same just... five dollar bill. Exactly. <laughs> No, there are about ten five dollar bills just on a shelf in that room, just every night across them. Yeah, they shift. Just, does it sit on the left hand side of the shelf or the right hand of the shelf? So, did yeah. you guys enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, I liked it. It. yeah, yeah. It's one little thing. It works better when you have four people because it also makes it a bit longer for the tilt because you need that four or five people because otherwise it goes a bit too quickly to tilt territory and then it goes. Boop. So, um, for for the tilt, there were supposed to be three scenes, one for each of us? Yeah, there was three scenes. Okay. Uh, okay. I got one bad die, you got two good and one bad, and Bard got two good before the tilt. That was our current dice setup. That's why I knew it was time to go to the tilt, because we all had a grand total of six of the 12 dice. Got it. Uh, got it. And basically, I was like, okay, so the tilt is basically the next day, right after the hipsters leave. So basically, the hipster scene is something that's just like do do, and then it, yeah, it's like a little montage. Yeah, I've scene. got it. Yeah. yeah, I think I've got it. Yeah. It's just a way of directing bullshitting. That's what I like about it. Yep. Oh yeah, exactly. And the other thing with like the tilt is it's meant to signify everything going worse. So if we'd been even more horrible people, like we'd had a person that was more horrible thrown in there, you know, Zerkai had been another Yandere or something. It could have, you know, the tilt could have gone even worse. Like the dangerous carries thing could have been, you know, like, no, I won't go down. With it. And Zerkai's got a knife and is threatening everybody in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, God. Shank, shank, shank. Well, what can you say? Good night, Internet. Hey. Good night.